So you know how whenever I install a backlight kit in any of my Game Boys, uh, like the IPS kit I just installed in this GBASP, uh, I tend to measure the power usage just out of curiosity because I have a tool that does that. Um, you know, I, I, I like knowing. Um, well, I've always been curious about the brightness as well. And, uh, well, I finally got a tool that I can use to measure that. Uh, so this is a Dr. Meter LX1330B, 1330B. Um, to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about this tool, uh, proper way to use it, anything like that. Uh, all I know is uh, I've been playing with it. I think I've got some good ideas and, uh, well, basically I'm going to put it to the test here. I can't do a whole lot on video because just my filming light is overwhelming the sensor. We gotta bump up the the range there and we can see it's 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 a lot. Uh, so I gotta kill the lights and then of course you can't see crap on the camera. Uh, the only lights that are on right now are from my monitor screens and um, well it's actually measuring zero on the meter. No it's measuring two on the meter if you can see that. I don't know how we'll, probably can't, but I mean, so long story short, I've got a whole little pile of Game Boys here. Everything from my Afterburner modded Game Boy Advance to a Game, oops, to a Game Boy Light, um, my DMG IPS installs. I'm going to measure all that, put it in a spreadsheet, and... Um, I'll present my findings and we'll go from there. If anyone has any recommendations for measuring, this is basically going to be my process. I'm going to boot my Game Boys to the um, to the boot screen, really, and uh, put the sensor up to it. Measure that way, cycle through the brightness settings, and hopefully that should be good enough. Um, I don't really know what these numbers mean. All I know is that they'll be good for a relative comparison. And uh, hell, I'll even I'll even measure my smartphone just so we have a um, a control value, I guess, that we can try and measure. And for context, this is a Sony Xperia XZ1 Compact. I have no idea how bright it gets. Oopsie doodle. I have no idea how bright it gets, and it probably doesn't matter anyway because it's running. Lineage OS and not the stock software. Um, and I know third party devs tend to tinker with shit, so who knows? But anyway, I'll get some measurements and um, I'll be back. I'm going to do it all off camera because it's going to be a lot of me fumbling around swapping batteries and stuff and just sitting there typing shit into a spreadsheet. So I'll be back. All right, so three hours later. Um, that took quite a while because I went through and measured every single console that I own. Um, well, most of them. I didn't measure like every single AGS-001, stuff like that. Uh, but I did measure, you know, AGS-001, my Brightness Modded 001, my 101s, uh, all of these all-in-one kits for Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, everything I did... Um, with that jumper soldered, without that jumper soldered. I even did my uh, smartphone here just for, just so we have a uh, control, I guess. And uh, I don't know how I'm going to end up presenting this data. I think I'll just, I'll, I'll figure something out, but long-term goal is to have like a Google spreadsheet or something. Um, but I just want to highlight a couple quick points of interest. Uh, I measured my smartphone, so on the low end, that measured at about 5.9 lux, which that would be this. Barely see it on camera. And then at the high end, at um, 700 lux, and that's what it is now. Uh, stuff like a um, my Afterburner Game Boy Advance, high brightness was 131, low brightness was 1.6 or 0 because... That's how Lux is measured. Um, in this particular case, it has a very, 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 very low setting before it switches off entirely. That's what I measured because that's more interesting than zero. 
uh, something like an AGS 10 or 001. Where is it? Oh, this one was only 58 compared to the 131 of the Afterburner mod. So I'm not sure how Lux is measured. I don't know if double the number means twice as bright or if it's like decibels where it's like every three decibels is twice as loud. Um, I don't know. I'll have to do some more research on this. Hopefully my methodology wasn't completely flawed either. Um, but there's, there's a lot of interesting results in here. Like I can say, uh, the all in one kits, like these ones with the transflective screens without that jumper soldered and with the jumper soldered does result in a difference in brightness level. Um, yeah, it's, there's a lot of data in here and I don't, I don't really have a conclusion to come to because I, I just don't know what to compare. Oh, I also measured uh, Game Boy Micro, uh, DS Lite, um, all, all sorts of good stuff. I didn't measure everything. Like you can see, there's some blank spots in here. In some cases, that's because, well, I started off with the spreadsheet that I've been keeping track of power with. Uh, so there's some columns hidden. You can see that thickness between CPU version and brightness low um, with power usage. And in some cases, some consoles are listed twice because I made two different measurements for power usage, but I just have those columns hidden because I wasn't interested in them while I was entering brightness. Uh, in some cases, there aren't any measurements either because it's not my console to measure or I don't have that console anymore. Uh, or like I said, it's a duplicate. Uh, but yeah, there's there's just a whole lot of stuff. In oh, let's do one more thing here. So an AGS-101, a stock console, that is column nine, or row 9 here. Low brightness is 53.9 lux, high brightness 143.7 lux. A... Uh, what a modded AGS 101 GBA. You can see high brightness is 76.5 lux, low brightness is 22.1. So, you know, lots of cool stuff. I also put some notes in here because um, some consoles like this GBA that I measured, the results might be skewed due to this bright, bright, bright battery gauge that I installed. Like you can see how much brighter that appears than that on camera. It's on low brightness right now, but whatever. Um, yeah, all sorts of good stuff. So I'll throw a link up to that and I'll try and add a slideshow or something. I don't know. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to try and measure every new kit that I do from now on. Um, all, all sorts of good stuff. If there's anything else y'all want me to try and measure, let me know. And uh, just before I end the video, I want to quickly go over what I was doing. So it's probably not going to be the correct measurement because I have all my lights on and stuff, but basically I was just turning the console on and sticking the sensor right up to the screen. Um, the uh, sensor is more sensitive than my eyes, so depending on where it is might change the brightness and especially just having lights on in general might change the light. Yeah, you can see that goes up. 0.6 just by touching that light. So um, I would try and move it around and try and find the brightest spot that I could consistently measure and then record that value. Uh, I know depending on the screen itself, there might be bright zones like on uh, AGS-001, the front lit version. The bottom is going to be the brightest and the top is going to be the dimmest. On those consoles, I just tried to get the middle area uh, but on the backlit consoles, I looked around and tried to find the brightest area, and I went from there. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I'm I'm exhausted. I'm tired. But there's there's just so much interesting data. So yeah, take a look. Let me know what you think. And I know this was a short video, but there's check the description because there's lots more in there. Um, and have a good night, guys. Thanks.